very good morning students good morning sir good morning so okay many of you people have joined good morning sir good morning so okay, in the last class we have talked about the mushroom biology in in a very advanced manner just to know the brief that what things are important in order to have the mushroom cultivation we'll be going by them uh, one by one uh, before i just begin with in order to make you people understand the medicinal properties the nutri nutraceutical components of the mushrooms and uh, the food component that is there i mean why it is being considered as a healthy food let us understand the life cycle of i mean it's very simple life cycle it's a fungal mycelium which actually grows in in the vegetative form and then it appears to form a reproductive part that is the fruiting body a fruiting body tends to have those spores that fall on the ground and they float in the air i mean they are carried by wind here and there where the spores they try to germinate the first germination or the formation of the mass mycelium is bit difficult at the initial stage because the favorable conditions are not very much there but still being a, a fungus and uh, being provided a natural habitat to where it grows minimum amount of nutrients if they are there and a bit of favorable conditions they are more than enough for the growth of the mushrooms but mushrooms when they are taken in order to have the industrial multiplication things they change i mean the life cycle it completely change changes in the sense now they need to be grow in a production phase and proper care needs to be taken that how they are growing what nutrient components need to be provided to them in order to have their growth so ultimately what actually is there any of such parameter if it gets affected will affect the mushroom growth in its life cycle the mycelium from the germinating spore it comes up and form the mycelia that spreads in the soil after that the fruiting body comes up and the fruit it forms up again it it bears the spores these spores they fell down on the ground in order to have the production of further uh, mushroom but all these mushrooms they are actually uninucleated and haploids the spores if they come up together they fuse together in the mycelia itself the different spores they fuse to form the secondary mycelium from where the different hyphal structures they come up in order to have the two compatible nuclei all together and then they grow in a diploid form in order to form the fruiting bodies now with the life cycle phase how the improvement can be done how we can maintain it how we can have i mean in order to have the quality production in order to have the growth of the fungus that uh, just a second oh, sir just to have the production to be fed up with the quality of the mushroom that we are growing there are some important considerations that need to be very well taken care of these considerations these include okay the first is that how fast it germinates how fast it grows we have the population ready in few uh, in few weeks of the time and then how beautifully it is growing how nutrient it is how post harvest technology it needs to be worked out for that quality of the mushroom that needs to be done for that the strain improvement has to be there so ultimately a breeding program where the consistent changes in the varieties need to be maintained in order to have the best yield and best crop the first and the foremost is just by normal selection mushrooms that have been growing widely it's known that more than 90% of the mushrooms they are not deemed fit in order to be consumed apart from they may have the medicinal properties but though they are not deemed very suitable and okay we are left with the small number we need to be assured that the common white mushroom that is agaricus biosporus they need to be selected very carefully from the habitats where they are growing naturally now we have those mushrooms from those places from those natural habitats and we can culture them in tissue culture as well i mean just growing through tissue culture in order to have their multiplication just to make the spawn spawn means 
the mycelia which which can be spread it on the um, on the compost in order to have growth of the mushroom matlab uh, mycelium fungal spores hi hai basically jo spread kare jate spawn means to spread and they have been spreaded on the compost from where we can attain the grow, growing mushrooms now that is fine i mean we can have the selection in order to have the uh, uh, have any variety of the mushroom but its improvement will not be there it will be true to type mother species that will be growing further ahead to give generations coming next the progeny would be there but we cannot have the improvement in its genetic content that needs to be very well taken care of how we can do that we can use hybridization a technique like use of oxotrops so trops which actually can be induced to have mutagenesis so we can give different components of the food so that they may have some induction changes in their cell cycle ultimately having change in their genotype and phenotype so that can be done by mutagenesis these oxotrops once they have been attained they can be fused together in order to screen that if the hybrid has been prepared and how feasible it is if the hybrid is growing up what good is it has i mean it will come up definitely to have some different properties and we'll see those properties maybe some uh, lowering down of the generation time can be there its whiteness can be improved maybe it can turn out to be more fragrant anything any such kind so this is the way by which the genetic improvement can be attained and we can have a better quality of the mushroom then use of resistance markers apart from hybridization the first was selection hybridization and now using selection markers so these are nothing but anti metabolite products markers isliye bola jata hai ek aisi anti metabolite products hote hain taki aapko wahi mushroom ki species mil sake wahi spores mile that you actually require for them to grow by that you can have a different quality of anti metabolites jisse और से और अच्छी मशरूम की क्वालिटी जो है वो आपको मिल सकती है बिकॉज देन इफ एन एंटी मेटाबोलाइट से यू हैड अ ग्लूकन एंटी ग्लूकन कंपोनेंट एडेड टू द मीडिया आपने एंटी ग्लूकन डाला और उसमें आप मशरूम को ग्रो कर रहे हो एंड आफ्टर सम टाइम यू सी दैट सम मशरूम्स दे आर स्टिल कमिंग अप सो दे आर यूजिंग अ डिफरेंट मैकेनिज्म दैट इज दे हैव एन अदर मेटाबोलाइट इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोसेस दैट ग्लूकन उसमें अगर ग्रो कर गया इट हैज सर्टन एंजाइम्स can turn out to be beneficial to humans so that way using markers we can actually select the quality of the mushroom that we want so then then another quality of the tissue culture is the protoplast fusion a very primitive technique though has been very useful i mean it it involves nothing you just need to have those cells from where the cell walls have been dissolved by treatment of some certain enzymes aap enzymes ke treatment deke unko dissolve kar dete ho these cell walls and maintain those cells in some osmotic solution so that they may not degrade by themselves so that wo toote na ho kharab na ho osmosis maintain karke rakhte hain and then they tend to grow in that by that the thing that becomes easy is in order to have them fuse together so what will happen the natural fusion that we were trying to have through hybridization will be done very easily i mean you are promoting the protoplast fusion in order to have uh hybrids that can be very different that can be very different and you may you can have two intra species matlab aapke paas agaricus hai aapke paas neosporus hai dono alag alag varieties hain dono ko lay fuse kara you may have a new uh, species developed out of that so these things though have not been practiced very much there are two reasons for that very broad reasons one mushroom has never been worked upon at a very large scale second is the capacity has not been builded capacity means that you as the people as a man power are not there available to have the fusion to have to be working upon these mushrooms so there there need to be certain programs that need to be run by the government of india where you, they can actually have the capacity build it and may make people learn about the new techniques and technologies that can be applied in order to have mushroom cultivation just see i mean just one example china by 1970s when they come up to know that okay the world knows that mushroom was very good food and it can be grown very finely china was producing 1% of the uh, total world population 1% and the scenario by 2020 is that more than 80% of mushroom is 
produced all over the world. 80% of mushrooms comes from China only. 80% that is a big number. I mean, that is that is why I mean, there is a difference. We need to have that capacity build it. We need to have the farmers educated enough so that they may practice what actually is coming out. The thing is there is zero waste management. You are actually practicing the waste materials that are produced from the agriculture and you have the fungal spores growing into the fruiting bodies that actually serves as cash crops. So it's totally the waste material that is being converted into food stuff that will actually provide you that will actually and cash you the moment you just sell them. So that is a good thing. So let us talk about what phases they are there in mushroom cultivation. Well, a cycle ki baat thi, do phase the vegetative phase and reproductive phase. That is normally in almost all the plant species as well. In the growth phase, the hyphae, the mycelium, it actually expands over the surface of the soil. The expansion of the mycelium is associated the way it absorbs the nutrients from the surfaces. What needs to be equipped in the cultivation, it matters. What substrate you are using? What component does the substrate have? Do we need to add anything that needs to be absorbed up by the mushrooms? That can be done. I mean, you can design the mushrooms by providing them those minerals, those uh, chemicals which need to be there. I mean, which you want to have them included in your diet. Any other chemical which is not normally found, like selenium can be an example. And in the vegetative phase, you make the mycelia grow. Fine. Then there is a growth retardation. If you see the growth, how the mushroom it grows before the formation of the cap, the fruiting body, the stalk it appears. I mean the mycelia it grows and then the stalk it appears. Then there is a retardation in growth. Ultimately, it's the the body, the mushroom. It actually takes change in the phase from the vegetative to the reproductive phase. So there is a change that is normally known in almost all the angiosperms. So it's more closely associated, but being belonging to a different family. Mushroom, when it go, have to form the cup on the top of it, actually retards its growth. And that is the time where the phase, it actually changes from the vegetative to the reproductive one. Now, once it has reached the maturity, what needs to be done? You actually need to have the induction of farming because you have those pores, you have those fruiting bodies, and you just need to provide ample opportunities, ample opportunities by providing good uh, environmental conditions, be it be, uh, be it be water content, be it be pH, taking care of the climatic conditions to the temperature where it is growing. So they need to be uh, regulated and you will have the best quality mushroom out of it. So what ultimately what uh, I'll share a slide with you to just to show you pe uh, people that how these things they actually matter. So you can see that there are certain environmental factors that triggers that change in the phase. So they'll they'll help the mushrooms to have that change in the phase. The vegetative phase, if the mushroom is growing on, maybe there is a higher carbon dioxide and maybe the temperature is higher and you just need to have those environmental triggers. You will make a change in these factors, associate them with light and oxygen. Ultimately, they'll be changed to the reproductive phase. So that can be controlled. That is one of the biggest thing that you can have in your hands. That is the principles of cultivation. They are similar almost for all the mushroom varieties and technologies. They can be different in order to what mushroom species you have cultivated. So that is the world needs to know, at least in India, the farmer needs to know that how to cultivate them, how to practice them and why do we need to have them? They generally improve all the three major problems I've already cited. They'll improve the health strata, they'll improve, they'll feed the population and they'll help reducing the pollution. So these three are the main things if that can be achieved. So I've told you that in China by 2006, 14,000 hectares, 2005 mein ya 2004 mein, 12,000 total world ki production thi, 12,000 uh, tons. But by 2006, two years after, 14,000 tons China bana raha tha, baki world to ab chodi do. So it's more than 80% that have been the contribution of the mushroom production by China only in comparison to all other world countries. So that is very well taken care of. When we understand the importance of the mushroom, when we have tried to figure out its cultivation practices, we need to poke that what nutritional and medicinal properties does a mushroom has. 
normally i suggested you people when we had a talk i i had discussed with you people that ki calcium phosphorus proteins usme aise bahut sari cheeze hoti hain jinko uh, mushroom naturally have them and then you can modulate them to have them included in your mushroom diet but if you broadly see that how nutritionally they good are in in figures actually they are rich in fiber a fiber as high which is not present in a cabbage i mean see the fiber component minerals the minerals which cannot be there without you have them in your external diet apart from the diet that you normally have uske alawa aapko supplement ki tarah khane padte hain vitamins they are there and then you have the fats which are present they are actually good fats there will be high density lipids rather than ldls ldls nuksan karte hain heart attacks ke wajah hoti hain but hdls they are good actually good cholesterol there are two cholesterol bad and good cholesterols so cholesterols they are an important component of a cell wall in order to impart those flexibility so that is there that is naturally present these factors they majorly contribute to have considered to have mushrooms as the healthy foods large number of mushrooms we know that they are not edible at all and we should know that okay we need to have the mushroom variety that actually has a good eating properties and that is why it's being satisfactorily accepted all over the world that the mushroom that needs to be grown has to have those properties now बायोटेक्नोलॉजी की इंटरवेंशन हुई या और बहुत सारे टूल्स जो हैं वो प्रोसेस हुए देर वर सो मेनी चेंजेस देर वर सो मेनी थिंग्स दैट चेंज एट दैट टाइम बिकॉज पीपल वर नाउ नोइंग दैट ओके वी नीड टू ग्रो द मशरूम दैट एक्चुअली इज ग्रोइंग इन वेरी गुड क्वालिटी दैट नीड्स टू बी टेकन केयर ऑफ दैट नीड्स टू बी टेकन केयर ऑफ क्वालिटी पहले ये महत्वता दी जाती थी कौन सा मशरूम जल्दी ग्रो कर रहा है विच इज विच इज एक्चुअली एक्सपेंडिंग एट अ लार्ज ज्यादा पॉपुलेशन है उसकी बट now the things they have changed now they'll have the quality food they'll have rich nutrient content and they'll have the production phase as well a good production phase if we talk about the nutritional value in numbers there are th- three main sources of food for the energy there are carbohydrates and fat then there are food factors associated food factors like vitamins and compounds which are required for good health and then third is the foremost important is the water and if you talk about the water content in mushroom it ranges from 70 to 90% in good mushrooms even if the dried mushrooms they are there they still have 15 to 20% of the water content in them so it depends upon the dry weight material or upon the weight material of the fresh mushrooms and it's it's more in number it's more in number in the fresh mushrooms this means that if we talk about the numbers the protein content alone protein content in the mushroom averages from 4 to 5% in a, in one single mushroom by its weight size bahut badi baat hai 4% protein content hona by its weight bahut halke hote hain but the 4% component would be proteins that is it's highly rich it's twice that of onion and it's four times that of the oranges and apples bahut zyada number hai protein ka so see how good in quality they are then on dry weight weight basis 35% matlab water content agar nikal gaya hai to wahi mushroom jo hai it will be rich gucci jiski main baat karta tha is totally a dry mushroom it's totally dried uske cap ke upar wrinkles hote hain so the water content has been removed out of it so there will be up to 35% that is a big number 35% of protein content which is normally 7 to 12% in rice wheat तो बहुत ज्यादा बड़ा नंबर है इन एडिशन टू दीज प्रोटीन कंटेंट द मशरूम दे आर पानी की बात करी प्रोटीन की बात करी दे आर रिलेटिवली गुड सोर्स ऑफ एडिशनल न्यूट्रिएंट्स, फैट फास्फोरस, आयरन वाइटामिन थायामिन राइबोफ्लेबिन एस्कॉर्बेट एसिड एर्गोस्टेरिन नायासिन मैनी अदर वाइटामिन दे आर लो इन कैलरीज कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स गुड इन कैल्शियम एंड it has been seen that a dry weight component that is if taken out the 72% i mean on an average 72 to 75% of the fatty acids which are present are essential unsaturated fatty acids so that is a big good thing about the mushrooms that they will not harm your health on a long way the most important thing is the formulation of the mushrooms the formulation being what you provide to them in order to have the food out of them so there can be any metals or minerals which are not regular not necessarily included in the food 
बट नीड टू बी प्रोवाइडेड फ्रॉम द आउटसाइड सिलीनियम मैंने पीछे भी नाम यूज करा था सिलीनियम कैन बी इनकॉपोरेटेड यू जस्ट नीड टू हैव सिलीनियम एब्सॉर्ब इन टू दो मशरूम बाय जस्ट इंक्लूडिंग एज अ कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द कम्पोस्ट टू वेयर द मशरूम दे आर ग्रोइंग ऑन सो दैट हैज बिन प्रूवड बाय रिसर्च दैट सिलीनियम इज एक्चुअली इट हैज न्यूमरस फिजियो फिजिकल एज वेल एज फिजियोलॉजिकल फंक्शन इन इम्प्रूविंग द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम मैनी अदर फैक्टर्स many other factors selenium has many other factors it removes the free radicals so it uh, from the body so it serves as an anti cancerous anti mutating agent then its appearance and taste and aroma can also be stimulated by knowing that what species they can grow in and they can be formulated as per se that means that jo aroma kisi bhi mushroom ki variety se aata hai you can have those selected by selection by tissue culture by protoplast fusion by hybridization fused into the commonly grown mushrooms if by a chance you get a hybrid which normally are provided are there in the market i mean not much work maine pehle bhi bataya tha bahut zyada kaam nahi hua hai lekin 800 prajatiyan hain jo mushroom ki jo edible usme component mein include kari gayi hain and 400 of them they have been recently been identified to have rich nutraceutical components itna hi identify hua hai but science needs to be developed where they can be fused together in order to have both the qualities all together so that being fit for having a good consumption of the mushroom as a food then apart from the nutraceutical components the food value near comes the medicinal properties maine bataya tha ki ek humne ek case ki baat kari thi that aids patient they have been feeded with in order to see the improvement in the uh the people those who feed upon this just a second please I'm just taking up the attendance. We have been asked to have marked them properly. So I've just taken the snapshots from you people. So, on an average, in US only, an average yearly component out of the mushroom nutraceuticals, that is the medicinal properties that they have, was about nine million US dollars, nine to ten million US dollars, and that is a big number. That was nutraceuticals that were being processed and being consumed by the us market alone the beneficial treatment is known in nations like china in japan and korea where they know the uh, the medicinal component the medicinal properties of the mushrooms has not been there much being utilized in india and in many parts of the world so they know that okay this needs to be included as an important component of the food what actually was there it was able to resist certain diseases was able to provide those components to the human health which actually can have help them in order to have a robust immune system that was a good thing enhanced immune response agar kisi body ka hai bahut sari diseases to aap waisi hi usko nullify kar dete ho it was found through research through clinical trials that anti tumor anti cancerous effects they were already present in the uh, mushrooms and it has actually been associated with enhancing the body immune response in this has been proven by research in activated macrophages production natural killer cells cytotoxic t cells and any other secretory products coming out of them so interleukins ya jo bhi hain so they all have good effects uh, that was coming out of the mushroom consumption that have been proven by research then there is another class of the compounds that are found in mushrooms are lectins so these are proteins the glycoproteins that have a sugar residue attached to the proteins so they served as a good component of the membranes of the cell membranes of our cell membranes so these they actually have some anti tumor and immunomodulatory properties that was also found associated with the mushrooms a novel single chain ribosome inactivating protein rip ये एक बड़ा फैक्टर था कि अगर आप प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस को क्योंकि कैंसर सेल्स में दैट इज द बिग थिंग दे ग्रो व्हेन दे फॉर्म अप अ ट्यूमर दे ग्रो इन अ इरेगुलर वे आई मीन इरेगुलर वे 
the cell cycle is totally disturbed and they keep on multiplying keep on multiplying to form that tumor so if you have that medicine that can actually affect the ribosome i mean though it will affect the natural cells the uh, healthy cells also but nonetheless i mean the disease has to be stopped at certain level so if you can stop the tumor naturally so these rip component have been essentially serve the purpose to have the anti tumorous effect that has been read has been studied on rats and experimental rabbits in order to see what the effect was in the immune compromised individuals of those then mushrooms they uh, they have seen to have lower blood pressure in the patients where hypertensive disease was there it it has has demonstrated its effect in lowering the blood pressure and improving the blood profiles apart from uh, the low density lipids cholesterol un cheezon ko bhi regulate karta hai so it has been studied the people those who have been affected with heart diseases mushrooms have served as a good food in order to have improvement in their health status related to heart to wo cheeze jo hai iski medicinal nutritive values jo hai they make it a, a wonderful choice to have it then coming to the neutroceuticals neutroceuticals kuch bhi nahi hai ek word hai jo mushroom ke active components hain they have been formulated in a chemical way to have directly being fed to the human population mushroom se normally koi aisi koi allergy nahi hoti hai but still if the population are not feeding directly on the mushrooms which is the best thing and they cannot feed it on a huge number but still those chemical components that are, that are termed as uh, neutroceuticals they can be taken out of the mushroom that have the anti viral anti tumorous uh, immuno booster properties so there are many other compounds that have been taken out of the mushrooms like triterpenes jo unke secondary metabolites hain which are active in mushrooms they can be extracted and have been used as there are many studies that have been done all over the world but i have told you that biotechnological intervention was kept at a bay for a large period of time there were two reasons for that one was growing the mushroom as per se mushroom ko grow karna ek challenge tha kaise grow karta hai we need to copy we need to mimic those habitat those climatic conditions in order to have the mushroom grown first understanding the science turning it into a art for the grow, growing mushrooms was a big challenge it takes years to have the mushroom production in doors rather than having natural mushroom production it was not an easy job once it was done now the mushroom has been standardized to have an in tissue culture now the scientists they are working upon to have the fusion technology to have the tissue culture technology because now they have entered in a lab phase now they can be captured in a they can be contained in a flask and if they are in the flask how experimentally they can be modulated at the gene level at the protein level as well as the whole phenotypic level how we can improve it जीन लेवल या प्रोटीन लेवल पे हम उसकी न्यूट्रासुटिकल प्रॉपर्टी को या उसके जो अदर वैल्यूज हैं दे कैन बी एनहांस बाय ओवर एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ सर्टेन प्रोटीन एंड बिकॉज दे विल बी कमिंग आउट ऑफ मशरूम ओनली सो यू आर नॉट डेवलपिंग अ ट्रांसजेनिक इट विल बी द सेम प्रोटीन दैट विल बी कमिंग फ्रॉम द मशरूम इट सेल्फ एंड यू विल बी ओवर एक्सप्रेसिंग दैम टू सी हाउ मशरूम बिहेव एंड हाउ इट ग्रोज सो बट इट्स ऑल इन टेक्सट ओनली हैज नॉट बिन प्रैक्टिस वेरी वेल because of the certain lackings that were associated with the mushroom cultivation but many things they have been worked upon and still they are on the large mushroom cultivation ki agar major phases ki baat kare maine bataya tha ki unme vegetative and reproductive phase hain but if these phases are to be divided in order to see that how mushrooms they can be grown what needed to be uh, what needs to be fitted at different stages of the mushroom cultivation the first is that you select the quality of the mushroom that will be grown we'll discuss them one by one the quality of the mushroom species is the foremost thing because ultimately you will be taking up the thing that you will be dependent upon either to cash it either to uh, give it to a industry in order to have uh, the nutraceutical derivatives out of it to pehle industrial phase mein sirf ek hi leg thi leg means that you ultimately you can produce the mushrooms and can be uh, sold into the market if it's being a edible variety but now mushroom ki cultivation ke sath ye dekha gaya tha any changes in the 
compost that you are feeding the mushroom to may lead to changes in the mushroom components phir dusri leg gayi industrial component to rahega hi rahega agricultural component matlab aapne usko khane ke liye becha hai that is done but if not if not there are no such properties in order to it to serve as a edible food no issues we can have it sold it to the industrial fact, industries where they can actually extract some nutrients out of it that can be done that can be done so selection of the mushroom variety was the first and foremost thing we'll see into that how beautifully it is growing what color does it have a pale yellow mushroom doesn't fetch a good market a white a clear white mushroom has a good market obviously we see the packet wo jo uh, trays mein jo milte hain plastic trays mein mushrooms we see the whiteness okay these are white have not turned black they'll serve a good purpose and pale would not be acceptable in the indian market though there have been good changes in the mushroom with the paleness with the paleness there are some good changes in the mushroom and just a second class sir so if there are you who have those mushrooms which are actually good you second is after the strain selection you select the compost material from where you will be actually be growing them and that needs to be very well taken care of there are been big number of components which can be included the numbers they are the rice straws wheat husk anything that is coming out of the agriculture factors the sugar canes you can have them chopped into a very minute size aadha inch ka matlab itna itna chhota barik size se just capture them uh, just spray the water the moisture content needs to be taken care of maine pehle jab mushroom cultivation ki baat shuru kari thi tab maine bataya tha let more than 50 60% water content needs to be there normally compost mein itna hota hai but a compost cannot be as wet because ultimately it will favor the growing of unfavorable microorganisms wo hame chahiye nahi but in the mushrooms where you are not actually adding any manure any animal thing any animal component you know that there will be some not very harmful microorganisms that will be growing up so you have the paddy field waste you have the straws wheat straws that are left over you chop them into small pieces that can be done mechanically and you prepare the bed for the mushroom cultivation ultimately you need to develop a robust span a span means that okay the mycelia has grown and where you extract the mycelia in order to have those spores in the veget in the reproductive phase that will be spreaded over the surface of the compost area so that mushrooms can come out of it so that needs to be taken care of then we'll manage अभी पीछे मैंने एक प्रॉपर्टी की बात करी थी दैट वी कैन एक्चुअली मॉड्यूलेट इन ऑर्डर टू सी द वेजिटेटिव ग्रोइंग फेज वेरी गुड वन ये बहुत नॉर्मल सी बात है नॉर्मल क्यों है जब हम टिश्यू कल्चर में प्लांट को ग्रो करते हैं उसमें दो फेजेस होते हैं वन इज द शूटिंग फेज एंड अदर इज द रूटिंग फेज यू कैन मॉड्यूलेट द मीडिया कॉम्पोजिशन आप मीडिया की कॉम्पोजिशन चेंज करके शूटिंग प्रमोट कर सकते हो आप मीडिया की कॉम्पोजिशन चेंज करके रूटिंग प्रमोट कर सकते हो if that can be controlled it's the same way that happens in mushroom mushroom has two growing phases one is the vegetative and other is reproductive in vegetative one you will have the change in the components now in order to have an rich growth of the fruiting bodies give them the factors that triggers the fruiting wo trigger kar do unko so that fruit may sprout out at a very fast rate so if that can be controlled in mushroom will really help develop a science where you can develop mushrooms at a very fast rate then finally harvesting the mushrooms harvest karne ke liye bahut dhyan rakhna padta hai that stalks they are not being taken off and the mycelia that has grown inside would be contaminated by other microorganisms leave it to the animals that entire thing can be reprocessed and can be feed to the animals because mycelia will be there that is um eatable mycelial food eatable agar wo kha sakte hain usko to that that can be very well taken care of i mean by the animals they can eat it it's an edible food it won't cause any harm and ultimately again the compost jisse aapne apna khana nikal liya hai can again serve as a purpose to be used as a feed for the animals all these 
steps they need to be very well taken care of if you ignore any of the step at any stage the mushroom cultivation can go awry awry ka matlab hota hai mushrooms pani moisture agar nahi suitable hai ph is not suitable they will not have those nutritive values mushrooms natural habitats mein jab dekhe gaye the it was seen that they were growing in rich forest dark rich forest where the humus soil a natural compost that is a very good uh, nutritive compost that was already being provided to them they were able to grow there or they were able to grow on the trees where they have the mycorrhizal kind of association with that tree uh, with that tree and uh, wo tree unhi forest mein bahut acche se grow kar raha tha so mushrooms they were able to grow there you were actually mimicking the same thing and if any parameters go uh, is is not good is not fine obviously the mushroom cultivation will not turn to be a good process so these things i mean just keeping these things in mind the knowledge that you will grasp out of the components that we are talking here they can be further spread it to the farmers at a large or the rural people who actually want to develop some small scale industries can be associated through ngos and in order to develop the mushroom industry that will be a big thing that will be a big thing because international market mein ye bahut bada amount fetch karte hain bahut bada spores ki agar hum baat kare jab mycelia ki baat kari thi ki spores kaise unko process kara ja sakta hai you can actually have the source of those mycelial cells from tissue culture tissue culture mein unki growth bahut easy hai tissue culture mein jo media use hota hai what needs to be done you need to wash them properly wash them with alcohol 70 75% alcohol se wash karke rinse them with thoroughly with water you have those cells just take a needle prick it in the uh, in that mushroom uske reproductive part mein just need to pierce the needle take a bit of the part usko nikal ke seedha medium inject kar do that is as simple as that after a few days you will see that a mycelial cells they will be growing out of that medium and will actually provide you with the number of cells cells are wise spawn hai wahi hum spread karenge uske upar wo mycelial cells ko hum chhadak denge it will serve as a good purpose so that is a good way to have uh, the mycelial through tissue culture and then spores they can also be cultured spores ko directly ek tube ke andar dal do jisme media dala hua hai and let it grow for some time directly spread that uh, medium directly on the surface of the uh, the compost that you have already prepared the bed for the mushroom cultivation agar wo ho jata hai usse badhiya kya hai aap grow bhi kar rahe ho unko un cells ko and you are directly spreading them on the surfaces so you will have the good quality mushrooms out of them so these are some of the aspects either you can have them from the market or mushroom seed center seed center ya mushroom culture centers इंडिया में बहुत ज्यादा तो नहीं है दस होंगे मुझे लग रहा है नॉट एवरी स्टेट इज हैविंग दोज मशरूम कल्टिवेशन सेंटर्स नॉनी में आई नो देर इज अ वेरी बिग सेंटर ऑफ द इट्स अ नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर मशरूम कल्टिवेशन एन आई एम सी विच इज देयर इन नॉनी सो दैट हैज नॉनी इज एन सोलन इन हिमाचल प्रदेश इट सर्व एज अ वेरी गुड पॉइंट टू हैव दीज कल्चर्स फ्रॉम वेर यू कैन सोर्स दैम शायद युवराज का या किसी का सवाल था कि सर कैन इट बी ग्रोन एट द बैक यार्ड या धीश का था definitely it can be done you need to have a good culture then the media that okay we talked about having the spore culture in in farming that is a different thing humne compost provide kara uske upar usko grow kar rahe hain contrarily if we want to have grown them in the lab you just need to have the simplest medium potato dextrose agar but normal jo agar aata hai agar aap sab uski property se wajib honge that it's a gelling component and potato dextrose is a potato component that can be added in a powdered form is available commercially in the market 20 g 15 g 1 liter mein us powder ko dal do 1 liter bahut zyada hota hai mushroom ko grow karne ke liye autoclave it let it solidified prick the reproductive phase from the mushroom wo cells aayenge unko dip kar do us media mein let it grow for some time aseptic conditions maintain karni hoti just similar to plant tissue culture पोटैटो डेक्सट्रोज अगर बहुत सिंपली अवेलेबल है अगर वो नहीं है तो मॉल्ट एक्सट्रैक्ट मॉल्ट एक्सट्रैक्ट अगर वो भी मार्केट में अवेलेबल है 15-20 ग्राम पाउडर लो उसको एक लीटर पानी में डिजोल्व करो ग्रो द मशरूम्स 
so that can be the way in order to develop mushroom spams and they can be spread it very easily from where you can ultimately have the propagation of the mushrooms out of that so they serve as seeds they serve as seeds the seed word cannot be used here because they are not seeds then <clears throat> the substrate the food that you actually provide to the mushrooms maine bataya tha agricultural waste hai straw hai paddy ke remains hai tea leaves hai cotton ka uh, waste a cotton cotton if you see the plant it actually grows in the balls there are leaf structures that actually expand and then there is a cotton ball which is growing inside directly cotton to nikal li jati hai but that is totally a waste product that is totally a waste product but it's a very good source in order to grow mushrooms so that can be plucked off from the plant and can be utilized in order to serve as a substrate for the mushroom um, for growing mushroom then husk ग्रेन्स के जो रिमेन्स होते हैं उनके जो कवर्स हैं जो नॉर्मली कनक से निकाल दिए जाते हैं कनक इज बीट राइस से निकाल दिए जाते हैं कवर्स एंड दे कैन सर्व एज अ गुड एग्रीकल्चरल वेस्ट इन ऑर्डर टू हैव द मशरूम्स कल्टीवेटेड देन यू हैव द ड्राइड मटेरियल दे नीड टू बी वेट अप सो देम फॉर फ्यू आवर्स एंड वॉटर मेक इट श्योर दैट यू हैव सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी परसेंट मॉइस्चर कंटेंट इन दैट मटीरियल फिल दम अप sterilize it if you can autoclave it agar wo autoclave ho jaye to bahut acha hai that beds can be prepared can be spreaded in a tray spores ko spread kar do fungal spores ko allow them to grow and just see the magic it's been done so just need to take care of you of the thing certain components which you can add externally say you add uh, calcium carbonate from outside or chalk That powder can be added in order to improve the calcium content. Calcium, if it is more than that, its whiteness will be good for the mushroom. Plus, it will be an added nutritive into the mushroom food. So that is always good. And you can add sucrose. That will serve as a good carbon component and easily available carbon component that will actually allure the uh, the mushroom spore growth. It will help it. So to sterilize it, you are sure to be sure. ऑटोग्लेव कर लिया तो इसमें कोई भी बैड कंपोनेंट्स नहीं है उसमें कोई भी बुरी चीज नहीं है माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स नहीं है सो इट विल ग्रो वंडरफुली इट विल ग्रो वंडरफुली सो दैट वाज अबाउट दैट हाउ द मशरूम्स दैट कैन बी ग्रोन एट अ लार्ज लेवल सो आई विल स्टॉप हियर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द मशरूम कल्टीवेशन एंड व्हाट इंपॉर्टेंट फेजेस दे आर देयर इन ऑर्डर टू हैव द मशरूम कल्टीवेटेड इन ऑर्डर टू हैव mushroom grown at a large scale what happened to thoiba thoiba is not been attending these classes devanshi sir so. thoiba ko kya kuch problem no sir sir he was in last class i think he was present in last class Okay, but I have not seen him here. I need to talk to him. And there is one another guy who is always missing because there are twenty-one and people including me. So that means twenty are present and two are absent. So who is the other one? Anvi Shivani Shakti Sangma Sahib Nandu Pulaje Nandini. Namrata, Nasrin. So who is the other one? Anyways, we'll see to it. Okay, guys, I'll stop the session here. The session is open now for questions. Any question that you may feel like, please ask. Anything out of the mushroom cultivation part? सब को इतना अच्छा समझ आया? अधीर, Sam. Uh, Nihal, yes. Sir, how can we prevent uh, mushroom contamination? That is a very important thing. That is a very important thing. We can prevent by growing it in a favorable condition because if fungal spores that are associated to mushrooms, if they'll be growing, they'll have a major nutritional uh, components extracted from the growth bed. So, usme contamination ke chance kam honge. Number one. Number two is. using autoclaved medium autoclaved substrates can add to avoid growing harmful microorganism in that fungal area 
so that is another way by which we can actually have improvement nehal okay sir shakti yes sir you said that they help in reducing pollution sir can you elaborate it yeah sure bio remediation pollution means pollution doesn't it means that okay you will be growing the components that actually reduce anything i mean reduce anything can be air pollution can be water pollution no zero waste management is the best remedy that you can have anything that has been discarded of will actually be polluting the environment in one or the other way it's a very natural thing the phenomena of the compost came out of this principle only that compost can we have turned uh, the waste materials into a useful product mushrooms help in that mushrooms can be uh, grown you actually have food out of that soil i'm using the word soil here shakti you have the food grown out of the soil that has totally been discarded that has totally been discarded another way the wheat husk the removal of the rice the paddy fields that actually are burnt up by the farmers after their remains because they they are not a good source to be added to the soil wo pani ko sokhte hain wo dry material pani ko sokhta hai jo acha nahi hai dobara jab aap wheat grow karoge us region mein then you have to feed with more water so that is not good so they actually burn those things if you extract them that can serve as a good food for growing mushroom that is another way of reducing air pollution and again zero waste management is there shakti yes sir so sir you said like uh, when we are growing like we can uh, incorporate chemicals for our use like see uh, you said selenium selenium ha huh? uh, yes sir selenium so uh, suppose if some pollutants uh, are in the area which the mushroom is growing so can they also be incorporated in that exactly exactly shakti again a good point that definitely because mushrooms they'll be taking up the things that have been provided to them there uh, through research it has been seen that mushrooms they actively take up minerals and minerals they can be in any forms those minerals they can be metals which are not desired to be there so controlled mushroom cultivation is the answer why it is said that mushrooms are not deemed fit more than 90% of mushrooms are not edible mushrooms and adish i am coming to your question if those mushrooms they are not deemed fit you have those uh, edible varieties going into the vein so that selection followed by its uh, its uh, proper cultivation needs to be taken care of shakti sir that so we can't that is all about art art of taking the mushrooms for a, from a very good place agar aapko achhi jagah se mil gaye multiplying them through tissue culture or through a uh, sporulation you are actually multiplying them in order to have the spores more number of spores shakti yes sir so the best way is you can grow them by yourself in the lab or uh, you can uh, you know see the area definitely. where they are growing definitely that is mushrooms may shakti over the period of years the research has been very well it has enhanced in order to improve the nutraceutical component through genetic means through genetic means now this phase is growing it's just growing up i am in 100% i can assure you people those who are aspiring to have entrepreneurs if they want to have seed grant in order to see what can be done in mushroom cultivation definitely they will be granted definitely it's in growing phase and that's the best phase to have industry component shakti okay thank you sir adish uh, yes sir sir uh, can mushroom uh, absorb heavy metals like can they be uh, deployed to clear uh, contaminated area with uh, which have been affected by uh, industrial waste adish you talked about a very good application potential i have never thought about it have not studied but definitely i mean if they can extract those harmful minerals or those harmful heavy metals out of the soil definitely they can improve the soil strata has not studied it but will definitely get you back uh, because certain research must be involved in that it has not been seen in much that mushrooms they grow very actively where the soil is contaminated contaminated can be through contamination can be through any means bad water is there heavy metals if they are there but the property of the mushrooms to absorb those metals can turn out to have a good potential adish it can be there 
I mean, it'll be good if you can have a more in depth into it. Yes. So good point, Adish. Good point. Anybody else? Okay, guys. Two, three log hain jo bahut actively question puchte hain. Shakti is there, Adish is there, Nehal is there. But I have not seen any other people those who are actively asking questions. Sometimes Manaswini also ask, but baki log Shitej hai, bhai. Sam hai, Sanjana is there. Namrata is there. Namrata never ask question. Sahiba never ask any question. Whenever I ask them that are you able to get the lecture, they say yes, sir. It was very easy. And but when you people attempt it, then the things goes different. So I request you. It will be a kind of a feedback to me only to know that okay, you are getting the things. We are not in a good position. We are not in a good mood actually of teaching. It's an online mood. But you people are grasping the things. Need to be acknowledged. it need to be acknowledged and that is through the feedback of the questions that it's coming like storm whenever i take a basics of virology class msc ke naye batch ke log hain they come up with the storm they come up they'll just flow with the questions that they have but the different scenario is there when i take up the class i take it with full zeal i want to have it incorporated in young minds that how we can attain these qualities these features Out of, I mean the application potential of BSc. Varna, I'm just such bold now. You all people say, you just ask a BSc individual, those who have graduated, boy, is there any potential? No. That will be an answer. So they'll look forward to something other. But there are bright chances. I have been associated with E Cell. I know the funding patterns, and there have been very bright chances in these fields. So that is why I put. Extra effort in order to make you people understand the composting, vermi composting, and mushroom components. So it serves as a very good application part. So that was for all of you people coming to the attendance part. Would we'll start with Adhish. Will st start speaking out names in an order. So, अपना camera on करते जाना. Adhish. Yes, sir. Present, sir. Thank you, Sam. Sam is not able to come. Devanshi. Yes, sir. Camera on, करो. Attendance हो रही है. सुना नहीं था आपने? Present, sir. Thank you, Ishita. Janvi. Janvi. जानवी तुमने पिछली बार भी कैमरा नहीं ऑन करा था आई वॉन्ट बी गिविंग अप अटेंडेंस एनी मोर बिकॉज यू आर नॉट एक्टिव क्षितिज क्षितिज आई वॉन्ट टू सी अ कंसिस्टेंट इंप्रूवमेंट इन योर केस आई नीड टू सी इट यू आर इन योर थर्ड ईयर एंड नाउ यू नीड टू वर्क अपॉन योर सेल्फ क्षितिज मनस्विनी फाइन मनस्विनी present sir nandini sir sir nehal rupal thank you present, sahiba sir. present sir sanjana present sir fine sanjana present, shakti shivani present sir tanvi present sir present sir okay. tanvi okay tridev vivek You present, sir. Vivek, you were traveling somewhere. You were in a car. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Try to stay focused. Yukta. Present, asked. sir. Present, Fine. sir. Okay, guys. Well, I'll stop here. Thank you. We'll see you in the next class. Bye then. Take care. Stay safe.